<sighs> All right, hey, this is Rob Graves. Um, it has been like a year since I've made a video, and some people have been saying that my stuff's outdated, which it is. Uh, so I figure I'll just do a quickie uh, arch install now, a year later. Um, let's see. Gonna make a new D box set up here, Arch Linux, uh, I don't know, let's do 2 gigs, why not, and everything else can stay default for all I care, settings, do, 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 do. oh, and, uh, yeah, the newest image as of right now is June 6, 2013, right here, on archlinux.org, um, I always do this, I don't know if it matters, Storage. Let's put that bad boy on there. Network I don't mess with. Alright, we're ready to rock. Start. Where's that s scale mode? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's In previous ones, people have complained that they can't see what I'm doing. So, I'll make it bigger. But, alright, let's see here. We'll do this one. And once we're up, we are going to take a quick look at the hard drive with FDesk-L. If you have any partitions on here, that'll show up right here. It says DevSDA up here. Uh, 8 gigs basically. We are going to format that with fdisk. So we're going to go fdisk dash space forward slash dev forward slash sda. Right here it says command m for help. If you type in m it's going to give you a list of what everything does. So I'm going to hit n for new partition, p for primary, and you can just hit enter or hit 1 and then default to 1. First sector can be whatever it says it's going to be. And then what you want to do is you got to do plus and whatever size you want. So like let's say I want to make a boot partition and let's say I'm going to make it 256 megabytes. I'd go plus 256. Um, or I could do K or G or whatever for kilobytes or gigabytes respectively. Hit enter and then that's there. If I hit P it's going to print what I've got so far set up. I've got that. Actually, that reminds me, toggle bootable flag is A, so let's do that, and since only partition 1 exists, uh, did that there. So, new partition again, primary, that can be 2, first sector can be that, we're going to make this say 2 gigs for the purpose of 2048 megabytes for the purpose of a swap. So now if you see that, we've got a 2 gigabytes thing there, which also, incidentally, has change partition system ID. It's T for part partition 2, type L to see all the codes, but I'm pretty sure it's 82. Yep, 82 for uh, swap section there. All right, now, let's see, new partition, primary, Three. Yep. Uh, I could go and make a home one. I'm not going to here. A separate home partition. I'm just going to make root its own. Well, nah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. We'll do this. Uh, plus 248 megabytes. Enough. No. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I really don't know what I want to do. What did I do there? Oh man, that could be cool. <laughs> okay, fine. New partition, primary. Uh, no free sectors of it. Oh, it did the whole thing anyway. Alright, well, at any rate, you write to desk the remaining thing. So now if you write F desk dash L. It should what? I mean Z shell. This is really using Z shell? Yeah, that's what I meant. Cool. Alright. For a minute I got confused. Uh 
What am I doing? Alright, we got that good. So now let's do MKFS. Like if I was going to make the boot partition extension 2, I'd make a dev SDA 1. 1. And that's do that. And then I can just make 3. Extension 4. Boom. Make swap. Dev SDA 2. Boom. Swap on. Dev SDA 2. Now we got to mount everything. Mount. Uh, you have to do root first, so that's going to be dev SDA 3 to MNT. If you're going to do have a separate home or boot partition, then you can do that here. But I think it complains initially, so if you don't have that stuff made out, so I'm going to make a boot partition. You'd also have to do a home if you're going to do that, too. But, uh, we're going to mount uh, dev SDA 1 to MNT boot. Now we can start installing pack strap MNT base base devel. Uh, I always add vim and links because I'm cool like that. And here we go. No, no, no. So now we just gotta wait for this stuff to download. So yeah, I was recording with FFmpeg, and that thing got all wonky on me lately. So I've been trying this simple screen recorder here, and so far it seems to be going well with my test of it.
Alright, there we go. Now, we're going to get Grub BIOS. There's also Grub uh, EFI and Grub uh, or Sys Linux too that you could use. I always use Grub BIOS, but... Oh, and if you're going to have other operating system on there, you might need OS Prober also. But we'll do that real quick. Excuse me. And now, Gen F stab dash P MNT to MNT. Let's see, F stab. Yeah, that looks right. Arch change root. MNT. Let's take a quick look at this. Let's see, F stab. Looks good in here. Host, host file, host name, which you're going to want to put something in here. We'll do Arch Linux. Uh, there's resolve.conf, which I never monkey with actually. We got mk in it cpio.conf we've got modules and hooks and stuff in here quit before running this command ok in it cpio dash p linux boom alright while we're at it let's go vim etsy pacman.conf here I like total download color we're going to add I love candy just for fun uh, if you're doing this is the uh, 686 one I 686 one if you do the 64 bit one there's also going to be a multi lib in here and you'll want to enable that repository by uncommenting them if you're going to be doing uh, 32 bit binaries in there, but, whoops, what did I just do? Oh, man. There. Alright, and, copy, let's see, pacman.d, mirror list, to, let's see, pacman.d, mirror list, dot backup, Alright, what else? Now, if you look in user share zone info, we've got stuff here. In my case, I'm doing America. And we've got cities. Lots and lots of cities. I have already know that I need LN user share zone info. Oops, America. America, New York to Etsy, local time, local time, there, let's go, Vim, Etsy, locale, dot gen, yeah, let's go, en underscore us, next, next, there we go, x, right quit. Now locale dash gen. Boom. What else we got? Oh, maybe I... Alright. Let's see. Uh, grub mkconfig dash o boot Grub, grub dot cfg. That's a little disturbing. Let's see what happens. Who cares? SDI password. We'll make it password. 
bad password. Exit, U mount, MNT boot, and MNT, and reboot. Let's see if I broke this. Oh, go. Let's go root. Uh, password, that's right. <laughs> yeah. IP link. Show you what you got here. Let's go IP link. Set ENP 0S3. 0S3 up. Now if you do DHCPCD ENP O S3 up. Or no, not up. Alright, now we should have internet. Ping Google.com. Alright, now we got internet, which is good. Control C to stop that. What we're going to do is we're going to system CTL enable enable DHCPCD at. Was it CPCD or? Yeah. ENP 0 S3 dot service. There. Now, free. We got our thing there. Alright, cool. Now let's do user add dash m, which creates a directory in the home directory for it. Users is the initial group. G is additional groups. Audio, video, optical, storage, power, games. Power games. Wheel. Say S bin bash. Bin bash. Rob Graves. Boom. Password. Rob Graves. We'll make it password again. Also a horrible password. The pseudo. For pseudo powers. For Rob Graves. Uncomment. I'm not there yet. There it is. XX. Rayquat. Reboot. Alright. Oh. Let's try our upgrades now. Password. Alright. Ping. Let's see if I did this right. Oh right, yeah. We got uh internet. Woohoo. Everything looks good here. Alright. Hack man. Hack man. That's why why that shouldn't really be anything to update, but we'll get that set up. Alright, now what we're actually going to do is we're going to get an AUR helper. Google.com. Now we're going to go to Google search. And here we're going to type in an AUR, Google search. It's usually that top one. AUR Arch Linux Home. Down to the search in here. We're going to grab Hack AUR. And click on this package here. And then... Right here you can see view of the package build, download tarball, even down here you can see the dependencies. Cower, X Packs, Pac-Man, and Sudo. We're going to grab the tarball, tarball, save it. Good. Back, back. Says we need cower. There's cower. There's the same thing. Curl Pac-Man, Yajul, download Tarball, save, okay, uh, escape, oh, alright, we're good, exit, yes, type in LS, there we go, 
Also, in Arch, you gotta create everything yourself. So, if you want any kind of folders in your home directory, you gotta do it. ZVF, cower, to extract that. Now if you look in here, we've got a cower directory, and then there's a package build. You can actually look at this package build, and it'll show things like the license, dependencies, where the source code's coming from, the MD5 sum. Some of these, by the way, uh, I've noticed would fail, and it's just because it's not passing the MD5 sum because these haven't been updated you find the newer one sometimes on the AUR website you can change it yourself and it'll fix the problem but alright what we're gonna do is do make package dash si hit yes yes now if you look in here we got this we're on make package cower Dash the XZ file there. Hit yes. Alright. Tar XZVF pack AUR. CD pack AUR. Alas, same thing. So I could vim this package build also and take a look here. But I'm not going to really mess with it too much. Make package dash SI. Rock this shit. Yep. Yep. Alright. Do that. Now, if I'm going to use pack AUR, you use the same syntax here as uh, Pac-Man, so dash S to install, dash SS to search. I happen to know that Archie is in the AUR. Or I'll run that. <coughs> And there we go. It's gonna ask me whether I want to edit anything, and I'm not going to. Grab the dependencies, and it will install Archie from the AUR. And the reason I do this before setting up sound or desktops or anything is if I do like a open box setup, there's a lot of things I grab from the AUR. Uh, so then it's all set up, but like if I run Archie now, it's good to go. Um, let's see, let's get sound in here. Pac-Man dash S, also utils, and also plugins. Plug ins. Yes. All right. Uh, also mixer is usually the first thing I do. If you notice here, up and down on these arrow keys, we'll up this uh, volume here. And if, but if you notice the MM at the bottom here, if you hit M, it'll unmute it. That mean, well, that means it's muted. But M will unmute it. You can go through here and do these or whatever. But when you're done, you do also on upgrades. Pseudo also CTL store we'll set the levels but then I can test it with speaker dash test dash C2 I don't know if you can hear that but I can hear it coming through my headset so that works alright also usually before I get into Xorg I install some fonts because there's not a lot in there by default. Sheepskate. Deja vu. Terminus. Terminus. Not found. Whatever. We'll deal with that later. Do those. Do, do, do. There we go. 
Alright, we're going to install xorg. xorg server. xorg. xorg. Server utils. xorg. Dash x in it. xorg pwm. xorg. X clock, X term, Mesa, XF86, video, Mesa. And that should get that thing ready to rock. Let's try start X. And alright. We got this silly thing. Alright. Exit. Now. Uh what else do I want? Pseudo emer emerge. Wow. Pac-Man. Let's do uh awesome. I guess. Yep. Do awesome. Also, just for the hell of it, can I install XFCE? Yep. How long is this anyway? Not bad, we're at a half hour. And I'm basically done. Come on. I'm not going to configure anything, I'm just getting a functional desktop. <laughs> Now if you do X, X in it, user, bin, start XFCE4, you can test XFCE right here, woohoo, how nice is that, alright, log out, log out, and also awesome for that matter, very quick, quit, then you can do echo. Echo is spelled way wrong. <laughs> echo. Exec. Awesome. Put that into dot x in it. RC. Woohoo. Now when you to start x, start awesome. You're welcome. Alright. 
But yeah, this is all set up. So that's pretty much all I'm going to show you how to do right now. Uh, everything appears to work. Uh, Arch is really do what you want with it. But uh, yeah. All right. I will talk to you guys. Talk to you guys later. No, I won't talk to you guys later. Power off. Oh, I'm super tired.